exercise mistakes that I made, but you shouldn't. I'm Dr. Amy Shah, and this is another episode of Dr. Confidential. Number one, when I was younger, I didn't incorporate weight training at all. Weight training, especially as you get older, is essential. In one study, they look at, looked at muscle stem cells. So muscle stem cells have estrogen receptors. And if you don't have estrogen, those muscle stem cells did not grow. 30 to 60% less growth of muscle stem cells without hormones. As you get older, especially for women, you are losing one to 3% of your muscle mass every few years. Before it's per decade, but during menopause, it speeds up to even per year. So incorporate three days a week of resistance training. That could be as simple as push-ups, Pilates, weight training with just your body weight, anything where you're pushing the muscle to grow. Second exercise mistake I made when I was younger is that I thought that moving just meant movement at the gym. Movement does not only have to be at the gym. When you look at studies, the steps that you take in a day, doesn't matter whether you're, whether you're at a gym, whether you're walking in a parking lot, whether you're walking in a park with your kids, you're walking your dog, that movement is essential. Studies show that 6,000 steps is pretty much what you need, not necessarily 10,000 that you always hear about. 6,000 steps is what you need to improve your body health. If you like incline, even just 50 stairs a day is enough to lower inflammation by 20%. And number three, I never stretched when I was younger, and that was a big mistake. That is when injuries happen. And as you get older, you realize that you need to warm your muscles up before starting an exercise routine. And the best type of stretching is actually active stretching. That means swinging your arms, moving your legs around. You don't have to be standing still when you stretch. In fact, the more you move around and stretch, the better it is. I'm Dr. Amy Shah, and this is Dr. Confidential. Thank you for joining me. I'm always thinking of ways that we can save ourselves through science.